Hello everybody, welcome back to Starfield. When last we left off, uh, we were actually in the bar on the key. Um, and we are definitely not on the key now. We're back on Jemison out in front of Mast, uh, near the tram station. I haven't missed much. I, I had a little bit of a recording snafu, but uh, basically all I did after I got rid of the contraband at the key was um, hop back in the ship and come to Jemison. And here I am. That's that's basically all we've missed. Um, if we check the missions, I'm going back to using the controller for a little bit here. Um, we have selected deliver a Terabrew, Terabrew cappuccino to Donna Rain. Um, we also have uh, the burden of proof that this uh, is returning things to Lieutenant or left Lieutenant Tuft. I'm not sure why I keep thinking I'm British. Um, reclaiming the past. Uh, this is for Bog. That is that mission we got from him at the end of the last episode. So, uh, here we are. I thought uh, we'll start here, and let's go ahead and take this to our good friend Donna. She works so hard. She needs to be rewarded, and I'm telling you, being a janitor is uh, not the most glamorous job, but it is a very important one. Really? Mm. What's there to even do on Gagarin? Beats me, but the financials make sense. Well then, we're going to have to give you one hell of a send-off. You, madam, have a deal. Sounds good. So we may want to check out this Gagarin place. Sounds like it might be out in the sticks. And here is our friend. Hi. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. No, probably not. I'm telling you, that Tony, he, he better be a... Uh, you better be on the up and up, cause uh, you're you're just too sweet. Here's that terracino you wanted. Friends. Oh, thank you so much. Soon I'll be coursing with bountiful energy. I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis. <laughs> Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Hey, might very well. Stand. Really appreciate it. Well, you're most welcome. Oh, snack pack apple bites. We like that. How's it going? I cleaned up a kid's vomit today. Fourth time this week. Well, bless your heart. You know, janitors are extremely important, and they don't get enough appreciation, I don't think. I've had some very uh, good friends who are janitors. And it's tough work. But I'll tell you, uh, the coolest dudes at my high school were the janitors. They, they, were, they were pretty cool guys. And uh, I taught for a little while, and I always got along real good with the janitors there. I tell you, uh, if you want to get along well, if you're a new teacher, word to the wise here, make friends with the secretary and the janitor. That's uh, very key. You do that, and things will go swimmingly for you. Swimmingly. So that's a free tip. All right, Donna, you take care of yourself. I'm telling you, if I find out that Tony is a bastard, I'm going to be very upset. So, uh, let's see. Here's Kelton Frush. Is that his name? Hanging out by the big tree. Yeah, Kelton Frush. What's up? Let's hope that Mast takes these findings seriously. Let's do that. Uh, have you not had enough? Oh, yes. That's right. One thing I did do in the interim was I gave him the sensor data. And he's found that the tree here... Uh, it's got some rumblings going on inside of it. it might explode. Thank you for your help retrieving the biosensors. You're welcome. We're supposed to talk to him later, so I guess he's not ready. So we don't want any exploding trees, do we? Doesn't sound great. Uh, let's check out these activities. Check in on Kelton later. We can do that. Uh, show Armin Petroisian the audio log. Visit the London landmark on Earth. Uh, yeah, I want to go to Earth at some point. Maybe we'll do that soon. Uh, this one's been on the chart for a while, as of this. So let's let's just start. I guess they're uh, in order of most recent edition. So let's head to the viewport, shall we? Um, tell you what, just a moment. I don't like walking around in this suit. It's a great suit. She does look good in it. And then, you know, I love green. However, I'd prefer to be a little more, uh, you know, relaxed. Blue collar off work duds. That gives us plus five carry. 
which, uh, you know, I'm all about that. Plus, you know, that looks pretty good on her, right? Uh, grease gear. Chunks cap. Looks stupid with the suit. O2 uh, recovery. Persuasion. Persuasion chance. Well, if we feel like we need to do some persuading, we'll put the suit back on. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's do with the off work duds and the chunks cap. I mean, how's that? Doesn't exactly, you know, that doesn't look right. All right, this sounds good. We look uh, relaxed, right? Okay, so we need to get on the tram. So back to the mast station. It's a beautiful night on New Atlantis. You know, I wonder, um, how you doing? Hey there. Hey, see ya. That's a shiny honey you got there, lady. Alrighty, look there. There's the water. We can't jump in. That's disappointing. Hey, we kind of hit that like it's rock hard, but oh well. What are you going to do, huh? I do love this. You can see under the water when you're coming up from the station. Induction. Get out there and show them what the UC's made of. Supra et ultra. That's pretty cool. Uh, get up there, isn't it? What's up? If you're looking to earn yourself a place in the UC, Commander Tuala can get you squared away. Okay. I'll see if I can join your fascist... I mean... <clears throat> uh, fastidious organization. Uh-huh. Welcome to MAST. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. I forget what MAST stands for. Yes? You needed something? Looking for work? You know if anyone needs a hand? What is this place? This? This is MAST. The beating heart of the United Colonies. Every decision made in the civilized galaxy takes place inside these walls. So this is like the Capitol, State House, Parliament, whatever. I wish I could remember what it stands for. I feel like I've been told, but... If you know, viewer, please let me know in the comments. What is it you do here? I'm one of MAST's resource officers. It's my job to ensure those here on official business get where they're going promptly, and that any rule-breaking is dealt with swiftly. Okay. I do like their... Uh, uh, their uniforms. I mean, they look, you know, realistic... A lot of different textures and surfaces. I like that. I'm looking for work. The Vanguard should be able to provide you with work going forward. Okay. Stay safe. I'll stay safe. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm aware of that. Wet floor. Check out that uh, astronaut. He's s sliding down on his ass. Ass. He's an astronaut. Yes. Ass. Funny? I don't know. Maybe. Citizen. Hey. How you doing? What's this? It's a red stylus. I'm going to take it. Nobody seems to want it. Let's look at the model. We do have an achievement. Uh, a challenge, rather, for selling unique items. So, well, That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks a lot like the, the pen for my Wacom tablet. Mine's black. You know. Kind of the same thing, right? Cool. All right. Sidetrack. Here it is. Adventure awaits you in the UC Vanguard. Tell you what, I'm a quick save. Commander John Tuala. What do we got here? Another applicant to the UC Vanguard? I don't know. Interested in doing some good for the people of the United Colonies? All while earning your citizenship and credits to boot? Earning my citizenship, huh? I don't know if I want to throw in with... So you have to earn your citizenship. You know, that's not a bad concept. 
but it's usually implemented poorly in real life. Sounds interesting. Tell me more. I think you have me confused with someone who gives a damn. I mean, someone else. What's the vanguard? Why would I want to become a UC citizen? Why would I? Well, other than becoming a member of the greatest faction in the galaxy, you'd get access to discounted services on any UC world. Credits to help you get on your feet. You'd even be able to buy property right here in New Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Citizenship mm -hmm. unlocks it all. And signing up for the vanguard is the fastest way to earn it. Well, it's interesting. I, I do wonder what the missions for this would be like. What's the Vanguard? We're the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet. Okay. Any captain can join, regardless of origin. Hmm. You have to fly your own ship and earn credits as you help the people in the most distant reaches of the United Colonies, all while earning your way to UC citizenship. Put in the time, and citizenship is guaranteed. Well, they chose the right guy for this. He's very charismatic, isn't he? Uh, okay. That sounds interesting. Glad to hear it. Signing up simple. All you've got to do is pass a flight exam and make it through one probationary mission and you're in. We'll have you working your way to UC citizenship in no time. Okay, I'm game. Tell me what to do next. Not interested. What exactly is a Vanguard again? What sort of work would I be doing if I enlisted? Mind explaining to me what I'd get from becoming a UC? No. What sort of work would I be doing? Vanguard work is as needed. Okay. When we've got jobs, we'll make them available to you. But the work itself, well, it runs the gamut. Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile ships on behalf of the UC Navy, or you might be called up to help the science division clean up some invasive species. Hell, we've even been asked to help take on the occasional terramorph. Terramorph, you say? Sometimes we just need cargo support. Not every job's glamorous. The Vanguard only gets called in for the ones where there's a chance of seeing action. Wherever the UC needs us, the Vanguard is there. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. Let's hold off on this. Thank you for your time. Okay. So now we know we can do that. If we wish. I better write it down, you know. Let's see. Just one second, folks, while I flip to a new sheet. In the old Starfield notebook here. Uh, Alright, join. UC Vanguard. At mast. In new... Atlantis. Okay. Question mark. Yeah. Okay. This is a cool tessellation too. It has like the gold uh, grout, I guess you could call it. What is that? Marble? It looks like. It's marble-ish. Okay. What were we doing? Oh yeah, we need to go to the mass station. Huh. Don't mind me, I'm just a zany kid with a jetpack. This place is super clean. Donna is too good at her job, I'm telling you. Hey, you were the guy that was leaving. I think you've gotten me mistaken for someone else. Uh no, pretty sure I haven't. See ya. Let's go to the spaceport. We gotta go to the bar. The bar. Go to the bar. Get slammered. Slammered? So, uh, apparently, we saw on the uh, sign at CJ's that it's open 49 hours, right? So, apparently it takes 49 hours for Jemison, that, that's the planet we're on, to rotate. Um, assuming that that 49 hours means, you know, is an analog to our 24 hours. Well, that's a cool shirt. Anyhow. Uh, that would mean that uh, the night time is, is pretty long indeed. Don't know what season it is. Or what the tilt of Jemison's axis is. See, all that depends. Oh, look at that. There's a ship coming in. Um, the tilt of the axis of a planet determines uh, whether or not it has seasons and how long those seasons last and that sort of thing. 
So I don't know what Jemison's axial tilt is, nor do I know what time of the year it is. So, I mean, I'm guessing it's summer. Secured ATM gal bank. Can I use this? Oh, this is the way. Steal from advanced. I'm not, I'm not going to steal. Why would I? That would be stupid. Steal from an ATM right here in the middle of everything. Why can't you just use it? Oh, it's, no. Bethesda. That's why. What do we got going on here? Here, Here's the Terra Brew. Another Terra Brew. There's several of those. You don't say. What's well, cool dress? This hat. Uh -huh. Well, um, well, let's check out the Terra Brew, huh? What's going on in here? Small decision, but they all add up over time, and it's paralyzing to really stop and think about. Buddy, it's coffee. Pick one, get out of the way, and let us get on with our lives. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Sure. Howdy. Howdy. Hey. That's an interesting, uh... I am a manager. I should be managing. Oh, well, manager. Do you think we could manage to make a premium cappuccino with double dairy and no whip? I don't appreciate your tone. And no, I will not make whatever it is you just said. Because this place is a disorganized mess. What you asked me to do is literally impossible. Oh, I understand impossible. Fine. You want to organize? There's a mop in the back. See if he can't organize a little floor cleaning operation. <laughs> cup of coffee, please speak to one of our cashiers. <laughs> Remember this lady? This was that hateful woman. What? No, just uh, go away. Yeah. Could you please bother someone else? Oh, you're awful, lady. This is the one who was like running the space station that got attacked by spacers and House Varun, I think. And she was, she was just so demanding and condescending. Thanks for choosing and they to said they would put her in a place commensurate with her experience. <laughs> That's her. That's her. That's so funny. <laughs> Looks like you got what you deserve, lady. Okay. Uh, what's going on in here? Terra Brew Kiosk. Now, this is where we buy stuff. Yeah. We don't want anything. Do we? Well, this is kind of neat in here, isn't it? I mean, it's not like the most cozy place in the world, but not like a Starbucks. I mean, you can hang out in a Starbucks forever. That's kind of the point. Uh, anyway, um, what's oh, what are you doing, Guillaume de Garmo? Well, can give up now. Perhaps my luck will turn. I do wish. If I sit here, I wish I could just talk to him while sitting. Oh, I can. I can. But then he gets up. Why, why would that be? Here, one moment, gone the next. I tell you, you must cherish everything and everyone while they're here. You never know when you may lose them. Uh, sorry for your loss. Thank you. I appreciate that. You see, I lost something invaluable. Lost it in a bet, if you must know. It was one of my most prized items in my collection. What? I thought... It was a gem. Okay. Priceless, no doubt. And its beauty was blinding. Oh, life seems a little less bright without it. That scoundrel George St. George has it in his possession now. That rat. And knowing that fills me with such envy and anger. I thought that someone died. Uh, if you miss it that badly, there has to be a way to get it back. Well, it sounds like you lost it. Fair and square. Time to move on. All this over a gem you lost in a bet. You know, you made it seem like someone died. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. A part of me died when I lost it. Uh huh. Materialistic, huh? Uh, if you miss it that badly, there has to be a way to get it back. I agree. I think I know just the thing. Okay. St. George, like myself, is a collector of trinkets and relics from Earth. I have in my possession a plate 
that I'm sure he won't be able to live without. Please, would you be my hero and go exchange the plate for the jewel? I'm sure it will work. So apparently there's, because Earth is now uninhabitable, anything uh, from Earth is now highly collectible. That's kind of funny. Uh, okay, I'll make the exchange for you. My hands are tied. I can't do it. Why don't you do it yourself? Oh, God, no. I could never face him myself. <laughs> oh, God, no. I'd be sick just at the sight of him. St. George would never give the gem back if I went myself. He would gain a smug satisfaction from declining the offer. Are you sure? Okay, I guess I'll do it. Fantastic. Here's the plate. Come back to me when you have the gem. And please don't drop it. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Guillaume, by the way. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. All right. The gem must mean a lot to you. What if George reacts or rejects the exchange? Are you sure the plate is enough? Are you from the area? Are you a gambler by trade? Yeah. Ah, not by profession. I work out of the Balberg building. Gambling is a vice I've indulged since I was a young man. Mm -hmm. And I've amassed a great collection of trinkets and valuables from it. Really? Alas, recently my luck has soured and my collection is dwindling by the day. But I can't stop, right? I can't just quit. Because what if my luck returns? Well, it sounds like an addict. Uh, the most important part of gambling is knowing when to quit... When you're ahead, absolutely. I'm sure your luck will turn around eventually. I'm not going to be an enabler. A lesson I still have yet to learn, unfortunately. Thank you. I will try to take your advice to heart. What is with the clothes so many of these people are wearing? I mean, it's an interesting outfit. Don't get me wrong, but so many of them wear it. The gym, the gym must mean a lot to you. What if he rejects the exchange? Are you sure the plate is enough? What type of things do you collect? I collect all sorts. Gems, novelties, old earth trinkets. Mm -hmm. Anything and everything that has some sort of value, monetary or otherwise. One of my favorite possessions is a fork that was used on earth. How amazing is that? You'd be amazed what people will wager in a bet. I've won and lost some truly breathtaking things. My collection as it stands is quite valuable and substantial. It used to be more so, but my bad string of luck lately has affected it. I hope nobody robs you. Um, yeah, so if you like a fork so much, what would you think of a spork? But that would just blow his little mind, wouldn't it? And what if George rejects the exchange? Yeah. I can assure you with near certainty he won't decline. As much as I hate to say it. St. George and I are cut from the same cloth. Well, that's why you don't we get along. We adore relics from Earth, no matter how large or monetarily valuable they are. They are a piece of human history, and that means a lot to us both. It pains me to part with the plate, but I happen to have a few others in my collection. If it means sacrificing one to get the gem back, I will. Must mean a lot to you. It does. It was the first item I ever collected. The start of it all. I received that gem when I was a young, young man. To know that I foolishly wagered it. Threw it away. Ah, well, I won't make that mistake again. Okay, are you from here? Yes, I've been blessed to call New Atlantis home. So he must when be a I was citizen. A man, I would travel the settled systems with no home to call my own. I was a nomad. But out of all the places I've been, no place quite spoke to me like New Atlantis. Well, he's very pleasant, isn't he? All right, we'll Take see care. ya. Okay, so let's uh, let's have a look at this plate. Old Earth plate. Wow, it's, it's thrilling. Okay. I'll see you later, alligator. This hat makes my hair look really bad. Pardon? So where's this George St. George, huh? What's this? There's an elevator over there. Yeah, no, I'm getting distracted. Uh, oh, this is the way we can get to the well. Okay, okay, okay. 
We'll, we'll do that later. Do that later. This is uh, what is this? Oh, the viewport. That's where we're headed. But Jemison Mercantile. What's going on in here? I'm sure I can find something to suit your needs. I'm sure you can. G Gerhard Pohl. I am busy right now. Oh. If you need something, why don't you talk to Emoli? She'll take care of you. Emoli, huh? Is that her? Emoli, I'm not seeing any records from that hauler out of Sidon yet. What was his name again? When's the last time he delivered? Bert. Oh, that guy. His name was, uh, uh it's on the tip of my tongue. Geez, it's something simple, too. Tim. Names aside, where's the paperwork? Did it not get filed? Hmm? Oh, no. He lost his ship about a month back. Crimson Fleet Raid, I heard. Didn't we talk about this? He most certainly did not. Members of the Red. Well, that's very unfortunate. We'll have to secure some other supplier. Mm -hmm. And let me guess. It's gonna be more expensive. I'm sorry, I don't control these things. I make the best deals I can. Okay, well, I wanted to talk to you. A moly. A moly maloli. Hey, we were running low on foodstuffs, so I went ahead Healing and did another one. Is, uh, would you shut up? Exciting, huh. one would think. We'll have to see if that's a long-term trend. Maybe account for it better than the standard shipments. I can just file the invoices when they come in if you want. Thank you, but that won't be necessary. We have a system for a reason. Sure, sure. Just figured I'd offer. Well, this guy's kind of sanctimonious, isn't he? Curtis! No, Amoli, I am Gerhard. We've been partners for ten years. Do you need a visit to Reliant Medical? Hilarious. Truly, you missed your calling as a comic. I remembered his name. It's Curtis. I have... No idea what we are talking about right now. The hauler from Sidonia, the one that got his ship blown up by the Crimson Fleet. Curtis, we were huh? talking about it, but I couldn't remember his name. I wonder if that's irrelevant. Well, I remember. His name was Curtis. I am so relieved we have cleared this up. Well, this guy's an ass, isn't he? More in the back if you're not seeing something on display. Why? Well, what? What? What's happening? I want to buy something. He shouldn't be so mean to you, Hi you know. There. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Nice place you got. Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. Does he? If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. He might be better off. Oh, please, take a look. What do you got? Let's see. Weapons. Ace sidearm. Ooh. Well, that's cool. Eh. 10% damage against humans. That's super useful. It's expensive. Why would I need this? I have one of these. Maybe it's a better one. I don't know. Ammo. Ammo. 4-3 Ultra Mag. 4-3 M.I. is what we need for that super cool gun that um, Delgado gave us. Um, it, it was so effective, I'm betting that um, ammo for it is uh, hard to come by. Spacesuits. Calibrated ground crew. Well, it looks a little bit like an X-Wing pilot, doesn't it? That's neat. Calibrated space trucker. Deep recon. I like that one. I think we have one of these. Deep core. Navigator. That was neat too. Star roamer. I like the deep recon. And I really do like this. It reminds me of an X-Wing pilot. I'm sure that's the intention. I don't know that I want to be running around looking like that. But it's expensive. And what does calibrated mean? Does just give you better resistances? I guess. That's actually not a bad suit. Boost pack. 
That one's neat. Helmets. Okay. Alrighty. Apparel. Black engineering. Chunks cap. Fish worker mask. Okay, that gives me horrifying flashbacks of 2020. Free Star Collective Cap. I probably shouldn't be wearing that around. I'm surprised you have that for sale, but it does kind of match. It match, matches my duds, though. I like that. Leather pocket wear. Minor or breaker outfit. What does this do? doesn't give us anything. Nightwear. Isn't that great? I should walk around like that and look like a potato. Settler comfort wear plus 10 health. Settler vested outfit. That's cool, but I don't like it with the hat. The hat clashes. So this is uh, like what um, so many people are wearing, like Guillaume. It's just a different color palette. Space trucker cap. Well, it matches, but I don't like it. Space Trucker Hall Wrap. Okay. That's all you got. Well, I'll tell you, I love this, but I don't know that I should be wearing that. I'd upset people. Ah, oh, it's cheap. I'm going to buy it. All right. Um, aid. Boom pop. Boosted injector. Mm, it's expensive. Cheese. Bostaris Laboratories. Cheese. It's like government cheese. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Government cheese is good. Uh, what do you need? You know, the wine, that gives us persuasion. I'm sure we have some alcohol, though. These are a high dollar, aren't they? Ship parts. Mm-hmm. Butcher's best. Uh, notes. So you have notes. Okay. Books. You can buy books. Miscellaneous. Digipick. Let's buy those. I don't know what we would get here. Don't worry about it. Um, I do like this gun. Recon. What is the damage? 15, 19. What do we currently have? Suppressed Rattler. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let me... Uh, yeah, I'll see ya. Thank you. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. You're welcome. This is the one. Uh, it's not a massive upgrade for this one, really. But let's compare them. Oh, please, take a look. Okay. I'm interested in this because of the bonus against humans. Okay, so four extra damage. That's not fantastic. Much less range. A little bit less accuracy. It's really expensive. I don't know. I'm not convinced that we need it. What can we sell? Well, we don't need these. Um, these are heavy. Um,
I'm, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell them. Um. Okay. I'm gonna sell that helmet. Yeah, there we go. There's our uh, commerce challenge. I really don't like the chunks cap. I don't want to sell any of this. Miscellaneous. Contains coffee, maybe. My friend will be. Then sell it. Oh yeah, red stylus. We're going to sell that. We want to sell different things, right? Let's just sell that. Sell that. We do have some alcohol here. That's good. Helps with persuasion. This is what Donna Rain gave us. I'll keep it forever. How many med packs do we have, anyway? 27. All right, let's sell from the ship inventory then. Weapons. We don't need to carry around crap we don't need, you know. Regular Maelstrom. Let's just sell them all. Keep an eye on her credits there. Sell the Ripshank. Spacesuits. We have two of those. Sell one of them. Packs. Sell one of those. All these have different, you know, bonuses they can give you. The notes. I mean, should we sell these? I don't know if I want to be a book hoarder or not. Um, the books in this are not very impressive. Especially compared with uh, Skyrim. Sell some darts. Empty beer bottle. That might be useful. We'll sell one of our foam cups. Just to get that... Um, you know, sell different things uh, thing up. Sell one of those, sell one of those. We got it. So now we can upgrade commerce if we choose. Toilet paper, sell one. Sell one, sell one, sell one. Sell one. Keep just one. Okay, that's good. Let's go to buy... I'm going to get this because I like the plus 10 against humans. I don't know if I'm wasting or not. Probably. Probably. Hmm. Tell you, before we do that. Appreciate the business. Yep, you're welcome. It's a quick save and go to the skills. We have three points to spend. Do we, in fact, want to spend one here? Don't know. How are we coming along with this? We can upgrade that. Not ready for that yet. Could rank that up. Takes a while to get to the sniper, doesn't it? Security. OK. 
Okay. Not quite there yet. Okay, well, whatever. Um, yeah, wait a minute, Gearhard. I think I'll buy this. Is it a waste of time? Probably. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome. Now this guy kept yammering on about art. What is Selling his deal? Is a, Samson it takes a strong mind and a good eye to sell art. Uh, so you're an art dealer. Indeed, I am. I've been an art dealer for most of my life, plying my trade all across the settled systems. It's actually why I'm here in New Atlantis today. I'll be delivering a piece of art to a very particular client later. However, I don't yet have the art in my possession. Actually, would you like to pick up the artwork and bring it back to me? I'll reward you for your effort, of course. Something about this doesn't seem exactly, you know, kosher. What does my help entail? You simply need to go pick up some artwork. The exchange has already been arranged, and you won't have to show any credits. It's just a matter of picking something up and bringing it back to me. There's really no need to worry. It's all very simple. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Excellent. You'll be picking up the art from Zoe Kaminsky at the Trade Authority. Tell her you're there for Samson Jabrell's art. She'll understand. Return the artwork to me, and you will be compensated. Trade Authority, huh? They, they're they pretty sketchy. Um. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Goodbye. <clears throat> Not gonna dig into that. What are you looking at? Hello. Hello. I am not trying to pest you. Hello. I really do need that credit transfer to have a Who is this? Oh, it's George St. George. We've been looking for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do you do? <laughs> me? I want to be frank. I don't do much. Not anymore, at least. And that suits me just fine. Yes. I now need to collect artifacts from Earth. You see, every artifact tells a story. Even spoons and forks, which most take for granted. People laugh at me when they see I collect old earth spoons. But think about it, friend. Spoons change the course of history. Can you imagine life without them? I could imagine a conversation where you actually look at me. Look at that. Chocolate labs. Ha ha ha. Funny. What brings you to New Atlantis? Ah, the usual <clears throat> things, I Excuse suppose. Me. Fame, fortune, power. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. I've actually been fortunate to call New Atlantis home for many years. For a collector like myself, I do believe there's no better place in all the settled systems. I've mm -hmm. been charmed to make the acquaintance of many fellow old Earth enthusiasts here in New Atlantis. And that is why I continue to stay. You know, I, I, I don't like you that you're not looking at me. Okay, would you look at me? Just going So much to see. I guess. Hey, hey! Hello there, dear friend. He doesn't want to look at me. This That's sketchy, isn't it? Guillaume wants his gem back, and he'd like to exchange this plate for it. Plate? Oh, my. oh, there we go. I got As his attention. Plate from else? No, Absolutely. No, Without question. Here, take the gem. <laughs> that Guillaume, if he wanted his gem back so badly, he could have simply asked. The gem is worthless. Less than a paperweight. But actually, well, paperweights are quite valuable. <laughs> This guy reminds me of someone I know uh, in real life. Oh, gosh, the smile is very unsettling. It seems like there's a lot of animosity between you and Guillaume. Bah, I'm sure Guillaume makes it seem that way. In reality, it couldn't be further from the truth. Guillaume and I have known each other for years. Since we were both young men, he is the closest thing I have to a brother. And, much like brothers, we quarrel. But that doesn't mean we don't like each other. 
I will say, however, Guillaume can be a tad over dramatic, as well as a sore loser. Don't tell him I said that. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, see you later, George St. George. Oh, that wasn't freaky at all. It's priceless gem. Oh, it's a geode with spikes on it. Never seen a geode quite like that, but... All right, and there's my fancy gun. Uh, we need to put that on the favorite tree. Might as well put it there, because we don't have ammo for the keel hauler. All right, see you later, sir. It's amazing what passes as art Okay, before we go to uh, the place we were supposed to go to, uh, the bar over there, which was my goal before I got distracted. Look, he's having a steak. Steak, is that on the menu? Where did you get that? Nothing wrong with a simple bet. Well, as long as you win. All right, here's your gym. Ah, wonderful. I knew George would make the exchange. He could never resist foodware from Earth. You've done me a great service today, friend. I'll be sure to never take this gem for granted ever again. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Well, you're welcome. I'll see you later. Until next time. Enjoy that steak. Can I have it? No. Oh, Do I sorry. Look like a to you? All right, Helena. You don't. You just look like a trouble to me. All right, the viewport. The viewport is where we are headed. Um, what's happening? Are the people here we could hire, maybe? Yes. What? Oh, yes, I would say so. Oh, look, it's Phil Hill. Oh, hello there. Uh, were you standing there long? Yeah, I have a planet survey you might be interested in. Uh... Okay. Okay. Did that do anything? Uh, you got any recruiting materials? Oh my! I completely forgot. Yes, of course. We have an amazing pamphlet called Top of the List, which is scientifically proven to work 90% of the time. Though, I'm afraid there's a small fee to cover printing expenses. But your commission will more than make up for that, I can assure you. So, uh, you know, 70% of the time, it works every time. Fine, I'll pay. Wha-bam! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You're too much. I'm still working on that data for you. Oh, that's okay. I'm, I'm sure you're trying your best. I'm a-doing it. Uh, can I buy you a drink? Looks like you could use one. Stop it, you. <laughs> Not while I'm on the clock, anyway. Though I'm, I'm always on the clock. Thanks anyway, though. You're too kind. All right, bye. Careful out there. Phil Hill, do you just show up at all the bars? What is this that's on the table? What is that? A viewport original inspired by the classic vodka screwdriver. Made with alien fruit. Well, fruit. Hi there, friend. Hi there. Gideon Aker, what do you do? Do you do anything? You just hang around? Hey, if you're looking for a weapon specialist, I could really use the work to pay off some debts. Uh, not really, no. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. Well? Okay, well, sorry. Maybe later. I don't understand the mechanics. Who is this one? Simeon Bankowski? And that's just Citizen. What do you do? You picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making them strong today. You in uh, town for business? Uh, that's right. Official constellation business. Yeah. You're with constellation? <laughs> Damn, that's cool. I've always admired you guys. Exploring the stars full time seems like a dream come true. It seems like we have that in common. Personally, I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for mass. Uh huh. I wish I could help, but I don't have any openings. What kind of skills are you peddling? Yeah. 
I'm billing myself as a weapons expert, sniper tech specifically. Uh huh. Most travelers like having someone on their crew who's good with firearms. <laughs> the settled systems are no picnic. Well, that sounds like a good idea, but I, I can't afford it right now. Do I need a shower or something? Oh, that. Okay, I'm sorry. He took that personally. Sorry. I'm so sorry. You picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making them strong today. You said that. You in uh, town? Yeah, same. This is amazing. It seems like we have that. In the person, deja vu yeah. is unreal. I wish I could help, but I don't have any openings. Dang, that's too bad. Well, thanks anyway. If you meet any pilots looking for weapons experts, send them my way, will you? Okay, he's nice. Uh, I think we may want to recruit him at some point. Who? Who are you, Senor Edgy, the hunter? Not used to people coming up to me. The suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? It's an impressive suit, if a little intimidating. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I go all over. A little psychological warfare up front and tends to make things easier. Uh-huh. I'm guessing you're a mercenary then, or military, yeah. Retired, actually. From too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, yeah. And a few more. I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. You think it was things like civilizations and factions that caused people to want to shoot each other? No. Even without that, it's still winner take all. Well, he has a keen perspective. I, I kind of like this guy. That's bleak. Plenty of people are out there helping each other. As long as I'm the winner, that sounds fine by me. There's a whole philosophy behind that sentence, isn't there? Well, uh, I think Penelope would say this. Yeah, you got that right. Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. <laughs> Better stop here. Okay. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Uh-huh. Playing hard to get, huh? Okay, well, I'll see you, Senior Hunter. This is why we came in. Okay. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Wow, the face just goes right back to normal, doesn't it? I didn't think it was that obvious. <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new girl? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. I don't know what I think about this person. Can I buy a drink? Business seems to be booming. Heard any interesting news lately? I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. When I first heard about it, I thought it was a bit extreme, but really... Would you want to move into that place? Me neither. And it's not like they're ever coming back. House for room, I mean. Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. Business seems to be booming. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous. Galaxy-wide. Really? We'll have to give it a try, yeah. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. Well, I never saw I that coming. You holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient <laughs> I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. You should go talk to security, see if you can get what's yours. Sounds like the sort of thing that could drive one to drink. Can't you just order some more of whatever you need? Well, let's see. Let's go to security. Yeah, I you should do that. I all the paperwork, believe me. 
It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. Sounds like you need a helping hand. Maybe you should just let it go, or why does this have an ominous tone to it? Yeah, let's... yeah. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Mm -hmm. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? Uh-huh. I'm here. I'll do what I can. <laughs> I mean, who do I need to kill? <laughs> <laughs> She'd probably go ballistic if I said that. God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. Mm -hmm. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. No hostages, well there goes my idea. Do you have any information to go off of? Yeah. I know a few things, but not much. Not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. I could join now, the UC why security. Why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. They're hiring. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. Hmm. Oh, I'll figure something out. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. Uh, you're not neurotic, are you? Can I buy a drink? You're in the right place. Okay. Uh, I don't really need... Ooh. New Arrival a Classic highball made with whiskey and soda. Garnished with lemon. Natural ingredients used when available. Departure time. A single shot alcohol. Tender's choice. 12% persuasion. Uh, yeah, okay. There's the viewport original. Man, that's expensive. It adds carry capacity. I don't want any of this crap. I'll see you. See you around. Oh, we could ask about rumors. Let's do that. Then we'll go. Hey there, new girl. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Let's talk about rumors. 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 You know, I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. In the well? I'm no. Usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped after a few drinks. But that was just too much. Anybody stuck living in the well? It almost certainly isn't by choice. And things down there aren't that bad. Huh. Okay. Thanks. Stop by anytime you'd like to catch up. Well, I'll do that. Okay, so... We have a, a lot of things that we can uh, potentially do. But uh, that'll have to wait till next time. Thanks for joining me here in the Roost today. It's been great having you. Like the video and let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the video was. Would you like to live here in New Atlantis? What do you think of the UC? Are they a little too fascist for you or are they just the right amount of fascist? Anyhow, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Your support in whatever way you choose to show it means everything to me and helps keep me going. I really appreciate that. Well... For now, I'll bid you adieu and wish you well, wherever you are, whenever you are. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.